Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Fox again. So today in this video, uh, there's not going to be any gameplay or anything. It's just going to be like an explanation video. I want to let you guys know why I'm going to be going to Trade League. So originally I created the Private League and it was a lot of fun. We've had some pretty active players. Nothing really too crazy on it. We've got like uh, a 93. I've got my 92. I've got my... Uh, I've got this guy, which is the 70 Bozerker that I didn't play too much. I've got the 85 Infernal Blow guy that I stopped. And then I have the 92 Champion Cycloner, which is pretty cool. Um, but I decided I'm getting to the point now where, like, everything kind of feels the same, even though they've done a bunch of changes. So this is usually the point where I like to create my kind of off-meta fun characters that may not be super good, but they're just kind of fun and, you know, it distracts you away from the other parts of Path of Exile that you don't like. Also, one thing annoying that um, that I kind of am excited to not have to do is I'm pretty burnt out of like delving and other stuff. So, you know, one nice thing about Trade League is you can simply just use a money-making method that you enjoy rather than having to do all the content and then you can just do that, right? So the character that I want to go ahead and make and the reason why I want to migrate to Trade League because naturally that's pretty much the main reason is I told you guys on the uh, video build guide that, uh, well, for my starter builds, that I wanted to play Glacial Hammer. Now, I try to play Glacial Hammer usually like once a league, and there's always something really lacking with Glacial Hammer. Usually, it's, you know, the combination of the damage sucks, the AoE sucks, you have to use Ancestral Call and Melee Splash, which means, yet again, your damage sucks, and there just wasn't really any benefit or any reason ever to use Glacial Hammer. Like, let's be real. There was literally no reason. So, um, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but they basically, GDG redid the passive tree, right? Like a ton. Um, when they redid the tree, they added a large amount of crit nodes on the left side of the tree um, to melee that was not there previously. Um, so this kind of added in another way to play melee, which is like a more budget alternative uh, melee dual wield, that, that was never really a thing before. You had to have a lot of investment to get crit on the left side of the tree. Unless you were playing staves, in which case you could use like a Gemini's era. Um, but that wasn't the case before. So, also in this patch, in 3.7, they made it now so most melee skills... Uh, I'll give you an example here really fast. Uh, glacial Hammer. Uh, most melee skills have built-in flat scaling. Whether it's flat physical, you know, if it's infernal blow, it's flat fire. If it's infernal blow, it, or sorry, if it's uh, uh, glacial hammer, it's flat cold damage, as you can see here against cold enemies. So I want to make this around a budget character at the beginning, at least. The budget is just fun to me. I don't know what it is. It's just, it's just the way I always used to play Poe. So I wanted to start off dual wielding frost breaths and see how far I could take those. So Frost Breath is a weapon that says attacks with this weapon deal double damage to chilled enemies. Which means that this flat cold that we get here is multiple, well not, well yeah, it's basically doubled, right? Because of the weapon. This was not there before, this is brand new to 3.7. So this is a huge, dam or huge damage buff to Frost Breath in general, uh, which is pretty cool. And then you gotta remember that that will scale with your crit multi, uh, just alone from the tree. This grabs 348 crit multi. This is because it's as a Slayer. I don't know if I'm playing this as Slayer or Berserker. Uh, Berserker gets Flawless Savagery, which is basically an Abyssus because 20 to 30 is 40 to 60. Um, the problem with Berserker is you have half the crit. Uh, you have half the crit chance of a champion or of a Slayer. Um, so that's kind of weird. Well, you have like 30 crit chance, whereas. Uh, um, Slayer is 46, but this 46 is with no gear. It's just with Frost Breaths in the tree. So Frost Breath has a 5% crit base chance. With Overwhelm, it takes the 5 and goes to 8, right? Uh, I'm concerned about the clear of... Um, I'm concerned about the clear of Frost Breath or of Glacial Hammer in general. So that's another reason why Slayer has a nice advantage because you get Impact, which Impact automatically makes your, your single target skills have some type of clear potential with the uh, plus two melee weapon and armed range and a huge buff to the area. So it's also a 15% damage multiplier to enemies. Then you get Headsman, which is the 20% more against Unique, the 10% more if you've killed recently, and then Bane of Legends, which is the Cull, but the Cull only works for bosses because Glacial Hammer has 33% Cull on everything that's not Unique. Um, so this is actually kind of cool because it gives us Cull on bosses that we don't normally have. Uh, and we already have the built-in call on the normal guys. Now, as Berserker, 
As Berserker, you would get Flawless Savagery, you would get Blitz, but this is Uber Lab. So for starting, you would probably go Crave the Slaughter into Rite of Ruin, which gives you the ability to generate Rage. Uh, and then you can use the Rage Support Gem, which gives you the Flat Physical, except the Flat Physical is times two because you're using Frost Breath. Um, so you would get, you know, uh, Crave the Slaughter into Rite of Ruin, then you'd go Flawless Savagery, and then once you have enough gear, you would transition into Blitz on your Uber Lab, which reduces your crit, but makes you hit ridiculously fast. One thing about Glacial Hammer is every third successive strike, which is really only going to happen on rares and bosses, um, freezes enemies as though they're taking basically 400% more damage. So the reason for this is this is to help you actually freeze lock most bosses. So this is where it kind of, you know, the question really comes in of, do you want to be better for bossing or do you want to be better for map clear? I feel Berserker will be better for bossing, Slayer will be better for map clear, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, Berserker also gives you easy access to the Berserk gem, um, but I don't know if you really need the Berserk gem because um, it makes you take, I mean, it gives you a multiplier of damage, but it also makes you take less damage. But ideally, we won't really be taking much damage on bosses because our goal is going to be to uh, pretty much just permafreeze them. Uh, and that's why we're able to go crit, or that's pretty much the reason why we're going crit. Um, but yeah, I mean, the tree looks pretty solid. You know, this is a pretty heavy tree right now, but you can remove points. Um, naturally, I just have it stretched out to get everything. The reason why I didn't like the Infernal Blow character as much, uh, and why I kind of stopped it early around 85, is because it just felt like a really... It just felt like a weaker version of physical in general, right? Like, the clear was pretty good, but when you compare it to Cyclone, Cyclone moves while it's killing. The bossing was really bad on it, and the only way to get Leech on it is by getting this cluster here. Um, which kind of sucks, because Glacial Hammer kind of falls into the same boat. Because it is an elemental skill, you don't have access to Leech. Um, the only way to get Leech is getting Leech on an item, uh, running Warlord's Mark, or getting Leech on the tree. Since I am migrating to Trade League, I may be able to get much easier access to Leech. Uh, and if that, that, if that case presents, I can just drop this whole cluster here and then spec more life and probably just get more damage. You know, like I can come down here and get two point jewels. Jewels are really good for this build uh, since it, you get double damage from jewels basically. If they're flat damage, come down, grab Armor Mastery. Um, not exactly sure where else I would. I could come over here and grab, I guess, Divine Judgment for the four pen. Um, not really that good. I could get minion damage scaling, Kappa 1, 2, 3. Um, yeah, but I mean, that's something I don't really have to worry about right this minute. Uh, but you can see there's a bunch of life nodes that I can still pick up. I just have it set at 192 right now. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much the rundown of why I want to go to Trade League. So, uh, I'll see if I can get you guys updated tomorrow or the day after with the Glacial Hammer character. So, Hope you guys are having a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourself. Um, you may see a sneak peek, by the way, of uh, another game popping up on the channel. I think it's called, is it Dota Under, Under, Overworld? I don't know what it's called. It's basically the Dota Auto Chess, but a uh, standalone mod. And I never, I actually skipped out on Auto Chess, even though I wanted to play it, because I'm like a Warcraft 3 diehard fan. But since it has gotten so much success, I figured that it's time to stop being stubborn, and I'll probably try it out, so... A Dota Underlords. Thank you, Chad. That's what it's called. But anyway, though, hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves, and I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Take care, everyone.